cause I know won't make you feel better. This a lifestyle that I live in with these different. And you trying to break my heart with these different. Say, you know you can't get over me. You know you can't get away from me. You know you just don't play. Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to my channel. This is Key P with BeatsByKey.com. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to achieve this Lil Dirk vocal effect using nothing but Waves plugins. You kind of heard the after already, but in this video, I'm going to be showing you the before and after vocal effects so you guys can hear the difference it makes when you apply my vocal effects to your vocals. For the sake of time, I'm just going to be showing you the final presets. I'm sure you're still going to find this valuable. If you do find it valuable, please like, comment, and subscribe in order for me to continue to keep doing these vocal effects for you guys. I've been getting a lot of requests to do more Waves plugins, so the more comments, the more likes, the more views I get on each video, the more I will keep doing them. So as you know, my goal is to help artists succeed, and this is my way of trying to do that. I would love to support you guys, and if you could do the same, that'd be great. If you want to cop this preset kit, you certainly can. It is in the description. You can download this preset kit and more at my website at beatsbykey.com. Before I get into it, I just want to give a quick shout out to everybody that has been showing a lot of love to me lately. I can't let that go unnoticed. Because of you guys, I'm continuing to make these videos for you and make sure that you get everything out of me as you can. All right, let's get into this tutorial. So before I show you the before and afters, I wanted to tell you that I recorded all my vocals on a row NT2A microphone and I recorded that into a Focusrite Scarlett 6i6 audio interface. The Rode NT2A is right behind me. You can see that I have an ISO shield around it. That's not necessary when recording vocals, but it does help. I provided links in the description if you are interested in getting them. I also have alternative equipment links so you guys have different options to choose from. As far as the audio interface volume, I have the gain knob set at 5 and I did record these vocals raw into that mic. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and show you a before and after. I'm going to turn the beat off and then I have the main vocals and ad libs. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn these off as well. And then you can hear what it just sounds like with me singing into the mic and what it sounds like. So here we go. I can't get over my pain. Make you feel better. Make you feel with better. Cause I know won't make you feel better. Make you feel this better. is a lifestyle that I live with these different with these yeah. And you trying to break my heart with these different uh, Turn the ad libs uh, You know you can't get over me. You know you can't get away from me. You know just don't play with me. So obviously the plugins that I had on my vocals make a big, big difference. Now I say this in every video, but just a little disclaimer, I'm not the artist here, you guys are the artist here, so you probably have better vocals than me. So just imagine what it sounds like with these vocals presets applied to your vocals. So try them out yourself. All right, as far as the presets go, I had a request showing what the Antares auto-tune sounds like and what it looks like if I used it as far as uh, replacing the Waves version of the auto-tune. And this is what I have. It's in a G minor scale. The input type is at alto tenor. And then we got the retune speed at four, the humanize all the way up to 100. The natural vibrato is gonna be set to 4.0. You got the pitch amount set to 100, amplitude amount set to 10 and the format should be at 70. But uh, so that's what we have as far as that one goes. Now as far as the waves versions go, right away I have a noise suppressor added to the vocals. This is only set to around 10.9% because what this does is it takes out the unwanted background noise. Let's say you have a fan going or your computer fan is loud. What this does is it suppresses the sound so it takes it out. Um, it works really well. I suggest having these from Waves. This one in particular is a really good plugin to have on your vocals if you want to clean up your vocals. The next thing that I have is a Waves Real Tune Time. And now this is Waves Auto Tune. So again, I have that set to a G minor, alto range, and then you can see the speed and the note transition and what it's set at. So I have it currently set off right now because I am currently using Antares Autotune, but I'll show you that it sounds the same. So I'll play this with these vocals on. Here we go. I can't get over my pain, make you feel better. With I know, won't make you feel better. This is a lifestyle that I live in with the 
perfect so that's what we got for the waves tune real time the next thing that we have is a vocal rider now vocal rider this is what i have the plugin set at you know the sensitivity is set at one i have the range set right here to right around 16.5 now the vocal rider, what this does is it rides your vocals right here and it makes it so every vocal is level. So on the high parts that I sing like really loud, this acts and it brings the vocals down so it's all even. That's what I was kind of looking for in this mix. So as far as the vocal rider, that's what we have. As far as the F6, this is gonna be my sweep, what I call the sweep, the EQ sweep. What I did was I applied a, a high pass and a low pass filter to the EQ as far as F6 goes. This is an F6 RTA. And I just took out the unwanted frequencies with each band. We can hear what this sounds like all together. I'll turn this off right here. And I'll turn off the little dirt effects. So we can hear what this sounds like all together so far. I can't get over my pain. Make you feel better. I'll turn the beat off too. I can't get over my pain. Make you feel better. When I know won't make you feel better. Without this the lifestyle that with. I live in with these different Perfect. So you can see that what it did was it just took out the unwanted frequencies. As far as the next plugin goes, I use an SSL channel. You can kind of see here, this is the EQ settings. You can hear what this sounds like with and without. I can't get over my pain, make you feel better. Without. When I know, won't make you feel better. With. This is a lifestyle that I live in with these different and you trying to break my heart. Perfect. So you can kind of see how that definitely cleans up the vocals and adds a really nice touch to the EQ. It brings out the higher presence in the vocals. The next thing that we have is a, our compressor. So a Renaissance compressor. I use this compressor for pretty much all my vocals. Renaissance does a really good job. I kept the attack really fast and the release I set to 28.5. If you really want to, you can increase this release to whatever you want. But for his vocals right here, I thought a fast release is where it was at. So uh, let's keep that and we can hear what this sounds like all together. So without first. I can't get over my pain. Make you feel better. With. With as I know. Won't make you feel better. This is a lifestyle that I live. Perfect. So that's what we got for the compressor. The next thing that we have is a Renaissance deesser. So for the deesser, I have the threshold set at negative 32 and the range set at negative 10. The frequency is going to be set around 5,506. So you can adjust this accordingly to whatever your harsh S sounds are at. But this is what it sounds like with and without. I can't get over without. my pain. With. Make you feel better. With as I know. Won't. You're not going to really hear a big difference, to be honest, but just know that it applies and it takes out that harsh S sound. The next thing that we have is a Renaissance Vox. So you can see that I love the Renaissance family right here. As far as the Renaissance Vox go, you can kind of see that I compress the vocals even more. A lot of trap sounding vocals have that compressed sound in their vocals. So what I did was I made the gate set to negative 61.3, the gain set at negative one, and then the compressor set at negative 7.7. .7. Let's go ahead and play the before and after. So before first. You know you can't get over me. With. You know you can't get away from me. You know. There we go. You can see that it put the beef back into the vocals as well as making it loud. That to me sounded really good. The next thing that I did was add effects. And as far as the effects go, this is what it looks like. I added a Manny Maroquin reverb, and then I, I put it to plate and had a small amount of reverb. I, I turned up the time knob, so we can hear what this sounds like with that on. And I'll turn this on here. So let's listen to it. You know you can't get over me. You know you So I definitely added that reverb, and then it made the vocals more spacey. The next thing that we have is a Manny Mariquin delay. I love these plugins. The reason why I love them is because of this, the phaser and the reverb. Not a lot of delays come with that kind of effect added to the delay or reverb. So uh, we can hear what this sounds like all together. You know you can't get over me. You know you can't get away from me. Nice little tail end and you can hear that phaser in there. It's barely noticeable but just know that it adds a little bit of variety into the delay effect. So the next thing that we have is the ad-libs. As far as the ad-libs go, I'm gonna turn this off. 
So same auto tune. Um, everything else here is pretty much the same. I'll just jump right into the effects. The only thing that I applied that was a little bit different was this F6 EQ that was added to the ad libs effect. I'll turn off the reverb and delay so we can hear what this sounds like all together. Make you feel better. We'll make you feel better. There you go. So what I essentially did was take out the mids and kept a little bit of the low ends, but took out the high end as well. So it gave it that telephone effect, yet it still gave it the presence of the vocals that we needed. The next thing that we have is a Manny Mariquin reverb. Now, as far as these effects go, they're very similar to the effects that we added. I did make a couple of adjustments in both. So you can go ahead and copy these presets or you can cop the preset kit in the description below if you're interested. So let's hear what everything sounds like together here. Make you feel better. We'll make you feel better. Now that I live with these different And you trying to break my heart with these different You know you can't get over me Perfect, so that's what we got as far as the effects go. The last thing that I added was a ozone elements, and I use this on a lot of my vocal effects. All I do is go to the preset here, clean limiting, and adjust the ceiling and the threshold accordingly. And I actually have a video showing you how to master with this plugin. So if you wanna check that out, you certainly can. Just check out my YouTube channel. All right, that is pretty much it for today, guys. I hope you found this very valuable for you. Again, I know it was kind of a lot of information thrown at you and I didn't really dig into each plugin, but uh, don't worry, you can have this for yourself if you want. The download is in the description, so you can go ahead and cop that. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you learned something and if you found this valuable. I would really like to hear your thoughts on it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a blessed day. Peace.